Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel Juliet Kitchen. Yasmin here. I am super happy to share my recipe for a hearty root vegetable with lentil soup. This recipe is actually part of my uh, soup series. I will leave a link down below or it's somewhere up here. Uh, where you can get access to some of the other recipes in the soup series. These uh, root vegetables include uh, plantains, it has cassava or yucca, you pick which one you want to call it. It has parsnip, it has kale, it has spinach, it has some beautiful uh, spices in it. Uh, so I can't wait to show you how I pull this fabulous soup together. So stick around long enough. While you stick around, don't be shy, be generous and click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and click that bell so that you get notified whenever I upload or uh, post a new video. Okay, beautiful people, I am ready to show you how to make this amazing soup. You guys know I like my tea, and this adds a lot of uh, good uh, flavor. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. You could certainly use extra virgin olive oil, or you could also use butter, or you could use avocado oil, which is another uh, great oil that I use all the time. I'm going to add in my onion here. I like the onions to cook uh, slowly, so I add it to the cold fat. The onions you could cut any way you wish. It could be diced, it could be chopped. If they're uneven, that's fine. It's a soup for crying out loud. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes until I start to smell it and it starts to get a little translucent. As a matter of fact, if you ever want to fry onion, a great way to fry it is to put it in cold oil, submerge it in the cold oil and let it cook uh, slowly on low heat. And it gets very uh, beautiful and crispy. Mm, it smells so good. It's looking fabulous. Look at that. My herbs, I have here um, oregano and fresh thyme. It's two teaspoons of fresh thyme leaves and uh, two teaspoons of uh, fresh oregano. I always only like to use fresh. Once in a while I will use um, uh, dried herbs. I find that they don't have a lot of flavors. Perhaps if I'm making a, um, a dry rub, I will tend to use the, um, the dried stuff. I'm going to add in my garlic. That's about a good uh, tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half. You can adjust the garlic flavor. And I have these beautiful spices, which is, these are actually whole fennel and whole uh, cumin. You could use the ground if you want, but use less. It's about three quarter teaspoon of um, cumin seeds and three quarter teaspoon of fennel. Fennel has a lighter flavor than the cumin. Okay, I'm going to add in some basil. This time that's two basils. I am using red lentils in this recipe. I love red lentils because it has more of a melty texture. Uh, it melts better than uh, the regular type of uh, ground if you will lentil so I'm going to get these in here I actually rinsed these well and now I have my root vegetables I'm going to add them all at the same time because I like my veggies kind of almost like melty sweet potatoes this is one sweet potato that I peeled 
have uh, turnips. One turnip. I have plantain, one plantain. And I have yuca or cassava. And I'm going to be adding some spinach at the end of uh, the cooking time. Got to season with my salt. This is about one teaspoon salt. I will taste and add more as needed. You guys know I like my fresh ground black pepper. I'm going to put, that's about a quarter teaspoon actually. Give it a stir. This is a really great uh, vegetarian uh, dish. Today I'm actually going to be adding a mixture of chicken uh, stock as well as vegetable stock, but you could use just pure vegetable stock. Okay, I could smell it. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Okay, so I'm going to add in my stock. Carefully, you want to do that carefully, carefully. I'm going to add, that's about four cups of chicken stock. I'm going to pull in two cups of vegetable stock. I'm going to turn up my heat to high. Depending on how liquidy you want it, you might need to add more, um, more stock. We'll see how, by the time the vegetables cook, how much uh, stock remain or liquid to taste it. Wow. And it hasn't even started cooking yet. I'm actually going to cover this and let it come to a boil. Let's see, it's hopefully come to a boil. Yep. I am going to add this piece of magic. This is a habanero or maybe scotch bonnet. I can never tell the different uh, hot pepper. The trick is to put it in whole and make sure it doesn't burst. So when you come in and you stir uh, your broth, you want to make sure that it doesn't break. And it will give the soup a very beautiful flavor. If you're making a stew and you put it in a stew, it'll give it an amazing flavor. As long as it doesn't burst, it's, it won't be uh, super, uh, what do you call it, uh, spicy. It's maybe a tingle. So I'm going to turn down my stove here and let this simmer. It's going to simmer until the veggies uh, become uh, nice and ten pork tender. Okay, beautiful people. It's amazing. I checked it like tw uh, in 20 minute time. Everything is so melt in your mouth. And I allowed it to cook another 10 minutes, so 30 minutes in all. Everything, you see that? Nice. Fork tender, fork tender. These plantains, fork tender. I like it super, super, super soft. Okay, see the pepper? It stayed whole. Oops, I gotta be careful not to bust it. See that? It stayed nice and whole. It's just going to flavor. Fine. And then, now what I really want to do is add some greens. I have a mixture of kale and um, spinach. You put any type of uh, green vegetables that you like. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to the veggies. Cool. Pinch, pinch, pinch. And if you leave out the chicken stock, as I mentioned, um, and just put vegetable stock, or you could just put water, but I think that vegetable or chicken stock adds a little bit more flavor. So am I messing up my pretty dress today? All right, look at that. It's just about ready. All you want is the vegetables to wilt, and it's ready. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This broth is uh, nice and thickish, which is how I like it. You could certainly add more liquid to make it uh, as soupy as you like, but I like my soup broth a little thicker, at least for this one. Oh dear heaven, you have to try this. It's so good. Mm. 
guys, my favorite time, which is tasting my recipes, even though I taste it all the time while I'm cooking to make sure it's well seasoned, this is one of my favorite times. I've allowed it to cool so I don't get burned because I love to eat hot soup and I always burn my tongue. Not a good thing. Oh, oh heavens. This is amazing. All of these veggies are so super tender. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I do hope you'll take the time to try this recipe and love it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking. <laughs>